Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're doing a drill with me with my husband, Jordan. Jordan, say hi. Hi. So that's Jordan. Hey, um, what was his name? I don't know. Whatever. Okay, we're going to call him Mr. Coffee, because he's been drinking a lot of my coffee lately, and again, I'm not sure if I should like this or not, because I like the fact that he drinks coffee with me. But I don't like the fact that I have to share my coffee with him. So, yeah. So we're going to call him Mr. Coffee. So say hi, Mr. Coffee. Hi, Mr. Coffee. Okay, so today we're answering a tag. Oh, you made coffee this morning? You did make coffee this morning. Oh. He went into work this morning and got out a little early. So that's why he's able to do this. It is Tuesday, October 16th, and on Tuesdays uh, is Reset Day in our house. It has nothing to do with our house. It has to do with uh, the video game he likes to play. Something resets in his game, and he's, like, if he's able to get on his game Tuesdays around noonish, I guess. I think it's noonish. Is it noonish? I think it's noonish. Yes. It, I, I'm still not good with the time zone change thing i still i'm still trying to figure this whole like time zone crap out because uh it's 10 a.m pacific he can say pacific <laughs> any man that can say pacific <laughs> it's one worth keeping because he can say it i still have trouble with it myself and i don't know if that's just because my brain won't let me say it like i can't say the s one say the s one specific yeah that that one i can't my brain just this eight Apparently he was like a chemistry major, so he can say like all the medical medicine terms. Like his favorite one is acetaminophen, which I learned how to say from him because he, for the longest time, would not stop saying it. And whenever one of the kids would get sick, he would say acetaminophen, which I believe is Tylenol. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that's 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 Jordan. The more you know. Believe me, I, I'm learning new stuff about him every day too. Um, we got married pretty quick. So when I met my husband and everything, um, I didn't know a whole lot about him. I just knew that, uh, don't laugh. What's my name? Shush. Okay, so I'll tell you about that side story. Uh, when I met my husband, we met through a mutual friend. And as I tell everybody, when I first saw him, I knew I had to marry him. I knew that was who I wanted to be with for the rest of my life. And the only problem with that was is that I didn't know him. Now, I had met his mom before I met him, so his mom will forever be Miss Sharon because whenever I meet an adult that's older than me, I always call them Miss or Mr. It's, you know, respect. I was brought up that way. But for some reason, I call, like, his dad is Mitch. His dad isn't Mr. Mitch because that sounds weird. So his dad is Mitch. Um, don't start calling him that. <laughs> His dad is Mitch, his stepmom is Mia, and his mom is Miss Sharon. I don't know why, and I, she's asked me that a couple of times. Why do I call her Miss Sharon instead of just Sharon? And I, I cannot give her an answer. And the only thing I can think of is because I met her before I met Jordan. But when I met my husband, I didn't really know a whole lot about him, including what his real name was. Um, at the time, he went by the nickname J.D., which is odd, and I still don't know where, exactly where the name came from because it's not like his initials are JD. His initials are JT, but for some reason, everybody called him JD. And right before we got married, someone, I think it was his mom actually, called him Jordan. And I heard her call out to him, and I'm like, who's that? And he's like, that's me. And I'm like, hold up, your name is Jordan? Yeah, I had no clue. We were like days away from getting married. Don't judge my life choices, people. Okay. Yeah. I don't care if you judge me. They, I don't want them to judge me. Mm -hmm. You don't judge me either. Mm -hmm. Moving on. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know his real first name. I just knew I wanted to be with him. And next Friday is our what number anniversary? Number nine. From the like nine and other languages. He, yeah, he's he's a weird one. El Nino. El Nino, yes. That's, no, I'm pretty sure our dog walker would have to uh, disagree with you on that. Our dog walker is a 16-year-old 
um, kid named Lloydell, and he's Cuban. Lloydell. And yeah, we call him Lloydell, or Jordan calls him Lloydell. He's Cuban, and of course he speaks Spanish, and I'm pretty sure if he heard Jordan say El Nino, he would just laugh and go, no. Which I think nine in Spanish is Nueve, anyways. Mm -hmm. So, we have a tag that my oldest daughter, Minna, was so gracious to make for us. Say no. Is what? Say no. Say no. Say no in Spanish. No. Oh, yeah, I randomly will ask him to say words in Spanish uh, just because... I'm hilarious like that. Now, I did take four years of Spanish in high school, but we all know how that goes. Um, where I do know some of it still, like I can say, uh, I, th I can say a couple of, he, Jordan says weird things in Spanish, but then again, Jordan says weird things all the time. Like stuff like that. He's been saying that for like the last nine years and I still, when he says it, I'm still like, what in the world did you just say? My pants are on fire and Ben McCurdle's right over. Okay, so that's, uh, well, again, welcome to it. I took three years of Spanish, that's all I remember. That and Donde Esta Tu Mano. Where's the bathroom? Where's your bathroom? Where's your bathroom? Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure my, my high school English teacher, or Spanish teacher, who was actually on my Facebook page, I'm pretty sure she'd be very proud of me right now for at least getting that much of it. I mean, that's about the only one you need to know. <laughs> I can say, uh... Hola, papi chulo, como estas? Which is just, hi, hot daddy, how are you? Yeah, that, that would be what you know how to say, huh? Shut your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, mm -hmm. um, which I don't even think I learned that at school. I think I had a Spanish friend that taught me that. Mm -hmm. Air quotes. Air, air quotes? What is that supposed to mean? Quotes so hard I'll break my fingers. Shush. All right, let's get to this tag, because it's almost noon, and he's going to be, like, tearing at that game system to get on it here soon and I only have him for a little bit since I had to share him with going into work this morning to go eat breakfast or do whatever he did with his boss and work friends. Go behind the test truck. Find him to follow shadows to bring it up here so you can see the big truck. Oh. The hydro test truck. Is that the one the truck? Big giant Kenworth. The one that I took a picture of like forever ago. Is that the one that Justin used to drive that had the dead cat in it? No, that's a tortoise trailer. Okay. Okay, this shows you guys how much I know about his job. I, I'm pretty sure I've said in previous videos. If you ask me what my husband does, I have no freaking clue. But he some abbreviated letters that rattle them out, and you know, it's, it's apparently not very. I just say he works for KLX. That's that's essentially all I say. Um, other than that, I have no clue what he does. To be completely honest, it's something with scanning. But I'm not exactly like when I say it to the kids, the kids think he like is like a grocery store attendant where he's like scanning groceries or something. And I'm like something like that, but with oil. So they think he has like pouches of oil that he scans all day or something like an oil grocery store, I guess. <sighs> it, <laughs> stop deflating over there. So they, they think it's something like that. And now in my head, I'm going to start thinking of something like that because I honestly, I can't obviously go to his job with him to see what he does. I know he sits in like a little trailer, which is very cute and little, and he like has an air horn. Other than that, I don't know. I don't ask questions too much. As long as he comes home alive, I don't care. I spent the last four years seeing him every 63 days for six days and then him being gone again. So at this point, the fact that he just comes home every day is just the best thing in the world. So yeah, um, I don't I don't really know exactly what he does. I probably should know for I don't even know what reason I should know this. But usually when people ask me, especially up here, when people ask me where does he work, I tell them, and they're like, oh okay, they, and they understand it. But like to normal people who don't have spouses in the, the oil field or are not working in the oil field, they have no clue what I'm talking about. And I'm like, I don't even have a clue what I'm talking about either. So, yeah. Okay. Stop deflating. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to answer some questions from Minna. Again, thank you, Minna, for the questions. One, stop asking when our birthdays are. We know when each other's birthdays are. You ever think she's doing it just because she keeps forgetting? Well, even if she does forget, she can always ask mommy. Mommy. Minna is a biscuit. It's a nickname Jordan has for Minna that drives her nuts. So I'm pretty sure when she watches this, when she gets out of school today, which she's an hour ahead of us, so her time right now is almost 1 o'clock, so she'll be out of school soon. So hopefully I can put this up by the time she gets out of school. She's a time traveler? No, she's not a time traveler, dear. So 
yeah, so let's get to these questions because, um, again, I don't want him to, like, run out of here full speed at 12. He's working very tediously on his little owl clock thing. And surprisingly, he hasn't touched it in a while. So I don't I don't think he's touched it since my last drill with me video with him. So, and, I, and we're going to be ordering him a table and everything else because right now he has my table and I'm using my drawing desk. So... We're going to order him a table so he can draw nicely and be all fun and cute and diamond paint. Because as you know, there's not a whole lot of men in the diamond painting world. So when you see it, you're just like, oh my God, that's so cute. So yeah, bask in the glory of the cuteness because I'm pretty sure after he finishes that one, I might be able to get him to do one more, if that. Cousin kids are... And of course... Uh, it'd be something from his video game. So I might be able to get him to do one. I keep thinking that I'm going to have to finish his, but he's adamant that he wants to finish his own. So I was like, okay, we're going to, I'm just going to keep pushing him to work on it. doesn't matter how long it takes him. It doesn't take me very long to do mine because I sit and work on them all day. He has like a job and has like adulting to do. I don't really have a whole lot of adulting to do. So for those of you who wonder why it doesn't take me long, because I don't have a whole lot of adulting to do. We're new to the area. I refuse to go outside. It's cold. So I literally, like a savage, only go outside for food. If I'm not getting food or picking up my children from school, I am not outside. It is freaking cold here already. It's already snowed. I'm not about that life. So that's how I get my projects done so fast. I don't leave the house. And I have the luxury and the pleasure of being a stay-at-home mom. So he works while I sit home and craft and do all kinds of fun stuff. And then he comes home and sees what I did all day. And he's just like, oh, that's cute. He's very supportive. I had to be at least grateful for that part. Yeah. I'm like a bra. Yes, you're, you're like a... Why, why like a bra? Why couldn't you pick anything else that's supportive? I don't know. What other supportive stuff is there? Spanx. <laughs> <laughs> you hold my ass up. There you go. Boom. Yeah, I like <laughs> I can't even with him today. Yeah, it, yes, dear. I don't get very much alone time with my husband, and of course, when we get alone time, you would think, oh, well, they're getting alone time. No, this is what we do. <laughs> we craft, or he plays his game, and I craft. Either way, I'm crafting. Usually, he's a zombie, unless I need something, and then he snaps out of it. And he's like, "No, size are cozy." So yeah, like um. Let's get to these. <laughs> Let's get to these questions. No, what you <laughs> say? <laughs> There's only ten. No, what you say? I said no. Size are cozy. I don't even know at this point. I don't even know. This is no, our life. No, you said it. No, I can explain it. I don't. I can't explain it. Oh, this, crap, dude. That's how random you Can are. Do it now. He's a very random guy. It's very quiet. It drives me nuts because you guys know I can talk forever. And one thing you'll know about my husband and I, we are complete opposites. He likes cold. I like hot. Uh, he likes movies and I don't. <laughs> but I think the one thing we have in common, we've, we found a couple of things we have in common. I've almost left him because he doesn't like chocolate milk because kind of human doesn't like chocolate milk. He likes life and happiness. Oh, no. I like life and happiness. I just don't like movies mm -hmm. or stuff like that. Sorry, I'm kind of blocking you guys' view of him over there, shaking his little boat. And he's dancing. We have a rule about him dancing. Anyways, so let's get to these questions because there's only 10. And I don't know how long I have him for, so. Don't look at that clock. <laughs> I have 10 questions, and you're going to answer these freaking questions. <laughs> all right. A, B, B, C, D, all of the above, 258. 12. All right. So, I win. No. All right. So the first question is, wh when is Mommy and Jordan's birthday? Well, Jordan's birthday, if you know the movie B for Vendetta, remember, remember the 5th of November. That is my husband's birthday. That's how I remember it. Uh, we, I think he still owns the movie. I think 
Did you give that movie away when we moved? No, I have no idea. I don't think so. I don't think I let you give it away. Didn't you give What's Your Faces Dude the whole like sack of DVDs I own? I don't think so. I think I kept that one. Uh, is it, wait. What? Matt or give him the Heidi for What's His Face? I think I gave him the Heidi for What's His Face. Oh. Uh, then yeah, he's probably got it. Okay, either way. If you know the movie V for Vendetta, November 5th is my husband's birthday. And he's already answered this question before for me. Like, you guys know my birthday just passed in August. So, like, August is my birthday. The whole month. She has a birth month. I have an entire, apparently, birth month. Um, so, we're going to move on to question number two. Favorite holidays. Now, I, I now know that his hot favorite holiday is uh, Thanksgiving because he likes mashed potatoes and gravy. Look at how you couldn't put that together. Well, it's not that I couldn't put it together. I just didn't think that you'd be thinking in a fat kid's mind frame where you're like, oh, well, I like it's food. potatoes. I know you like potatoes. He loves potatoes. I, mean, I, I know. Would, why? I'm not yeah. moving again. We're not doing it. We live here for the rest of our lives. We will die here. I'm not moving again. Unless unless we move to, like, Maine or Norway. No, nope, you just said we can't move. We're stuck here. We're dying here. Way to, way to see all our Oh man, I dropped a diamond. That's what you get for bringing us to North Korea. Oh, hush. Alright, so... Um, what question? Favorite holidays. Okay, so what's my favorite holiday? Halloween. Halloweener. Alright, I love yeah. Halloween. Um, <laughs> I, I like Halloween mainly because I hate Christmas. It's too materialized. Everything's about what are you getting somebody. See, and I hate happiness. It's not happiness. Happiness comes from spending time with your family, not, oh, mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. gifts are they getting me? Like, nowadays, the kids don't even care about spending time with family. It's just, what am I getting for Christmas? I, I want this for Christmas. It's not, you know, I want family togetherness and happiness. Like, I'm all about that Hallmark moment crap. And nowadays, that's not even a thing anymore because everybody's so materialistic into everything makes me sick hate it you got acetaminophen shush acetaminophen? no acetaminophen alright so yeah Halloween's my favorite holiday that and who doesn't like to dress up scary and scare the crap out of people I mean I don't like it happening to me but I, I love doing it to other people <laughs> and that's just... candy you're allergic to okay I'm allergic to chocolate now those pearl clutchers that just clutch their pearls. Yes, I am allergic to chocolate. It's not a deathly allergic reaction. I break out into hives. I get really, like, my throat starts, my throat will start to close, but it won't actually get there. By the time my throat actually would close, it would probably take a while. So I still eat chocolate. I'm not going to, like, let that negativity form my life and tell me what to do. Like, I'm trying to overcome a lot here, people, okay? I don't have time for allergies. <laughs> So I don't, <laughs> I don't care about no allergies. So yeah, I don't, I don't care. Go buy them Canadian EpiPens if you got them. Yeah, we live like thirty minutes away from Canada, so. Oh, Canadian. He loves Canada. And I hear, like, I was talking to one of my friends. I think it was Cindy Joe. Was it Cindy Joe? It was somebody. Apparently trying to get health care up there, like you would think it's awesome because they have free health care, but she's like the lines to wait to get in are ridiculous because they do have free health care. So everybody goes in for every little issue. And I'm like, I can see that. I can honestly see people going in there for like, my elbow feels funny. My elbow feels strange. And like you got a whole line of people waiting with like half their heads chopped off because this person's elbow feels funny. So like I can, I can understand that. Um... But yeah, one of these days we'll have to get up to Canada because we live so close to it now. I want to go to Canada to go look around and see what it's like and hear about all the aboots. Which is funny because I think there's a couple of uh, crafting channels that I watch that might have some Canadian people on them. Aboot. Because I love her. Abstract Crafter says aboot. And I'm like, I wonder if she lives in Canada. And then I found out she does not live in Canada. And I'm like, but she says aboot. Does she live in Minnesota? I don't know where she lives. I think it's Wyoming. Because it was Minnesota that brought her originally from. Why? Do they have like a weird accent in Minnesota? It's very Canadianized. 
Oh, I don't think she lives in Minnesota. I don't know. I'll have to watch one of her videos and find out. She just said it in one of her painting videos. So I'll have to, we'll have to watch it later and find out. And yes, he does watch those videos with me. Even if he, he mostly just listens to them. He doesn't actually like watch, watch them, but he'll listen to them. Well, and then, wait, the respawn, I look over and see what's going on. Yeah, while you're, after he dies in his game, he'll look to see what's going on in my videos that I'm watching. <laughs> so he'll watch and listen with me while he's gaming. Which is kind of nice, because then if I say something like, if he, he knows if I say Stitcherista, he knows exactly who that is. <laughs> if I say Abstract Crafter, he knows exactly who that is. And now, if I say Gone Off My Meds, he goes, who's that? Oh, Snapchat Lady. Okay, so he knows who that is too. So he, 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 he listens. More than I probably give him credit for, because half the time I don't think he's listening to me. Oh. Exactly. So, next question. You're still making that face. Where did you meet? We are you trying to stab me right now? No. We met at a mutual friend's house. Um, he was having a get together, and <laughs> he drank like what two beers and passed out. Mm -hmm. And Jordan was actually dating somebody at the time. This nasty. Girl, skank, person. Thank um, you, best friend Josh, for saving me from that. Yes, thank you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> for sa saving him from that wreckage. Um, we're not going to go into that. Uh, <laughs> Short story, I always carry a sharpie on. So we were at this mutual friend's house, and Jordan came over and asked me if I wanted to color on this guy's back with sharpie, and I knew then that I was going to marry Jordan because I liked him a lot. Now he thinks I'm just creepy because I said, I always say I knew from the moment I met him that, you know, I would have him and he's like, stalker. yeah, I'm not a stalker. I didn't stalk him. Now I have stalked boyfriends in the past, yeah, but I, <laughs> I've stalked boyfriends in the past. I'm not going to lie. Like Minna's dad. Uh, I was young. <laughs> I was young and I didn't realize it was stalking. I just was like. I was young and didn't realize it was illegal. I was just trying to keep tabs on him. <laughs> as weird as that is, hey, don't judge my life choices. I was like 15, 16 years old. I just knew there was this guy I liked. That's all I knew. Then as I got older and realized that that's very wrong, um, <laughs> yeah, stop deflating over there. All right, but I didn't stalk Jordan. No, no, no. I worked at our local Walmart, and if you remember in Walmart, they used to have Picture Me Studios. Um, they don't anymore. Uh, I, I don't know if they went out of business because they were such a crap company or what, but they were a crap company, and I'm pretty sure that's probably why they went out of business. Again, I don't know. I left years before they closed their doors, but because um, they were a crap company. Um, curtain. Go better. Yep. <laughs> so, um, we he would stop by Walmart to get monsters or something stupid. He was like this, or tea, yeah, because he drinks tea like it's water or something. It's gross. Um, is this going up? Okay, never mind. It's like, looks like a person moving. Sorry, there's like I can see the traffic outside, and I just Don't see this truck full of stuff. Up. Yeah, the, the Jetta almost got taken out by the street cleaner today because you didn't move it like I told you to to put it back in the garage. Oh, um, eh, whatever. Whatever. You're lucky they don't give tickets out here for that. Yep. They don't give tickets out here for nothing. Nope. And even if you get a speeding ticket, it's only 20 bucks. Yeah, so... And supposedly, you can pay the cow. I don't know if I'm sure it's like, so I'm kind of come off like a bride. <laughs> Right? Like, the cop just walking away with all these 20s? Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I don't... That doesn't sound... A you could have brought an officer? Absolutely! We're, wait, we're, wait, what? No, crap. Again, welcome to it, folks. This is our lives. You want it in? You're in. No turning back now. Alright. So, hello, what question? Man? So, yeah, we met at a mutual friend's house. Question number nine! Yay, we're done! What? We met at a mutual friend's house. Okay, so now here's the hardcore question, because I'm going to have to fuss at him about this. And that's why he's deflating over there. And by deflating, he makes this weird noise, like it sounds like if he was a balloon, he'd be deflating. 
he does it whenever I say something really stupid or like something like really obvious and he just can't believe that I said it. He'll just make this weird deflating noise, which is hilarious. Um, all right, Jordan. And this time I'm not going to answer. I'm going to make you answer first. I'm not going to answer. You got all the answers. Always. Um, number six. What was one of the happiest moments of your life? And you cannot say the birth of your children or us getting married. Because we already... I'm pretty sure Amanda did not put those situations in there. I'm pretty sure I put the... Okay, fine. Oh, you said fine? No. Yes! Birth of the children getting married. You cannot use those. Name a happy time. Mm. You know he's going deep for this one, folks. You, you see his hands disappear from over there working. I would say when you guys moved out here, but that's kind of a lie because you got out of a car and said you should have divorced my ass in the state of Pennsylvania. <laughs> that is true. I did do that. So, so maybe like a week after you guys moved out here. <laughs> okay. So let me explain what he just said. When we got here, okay, now imagine being, it's summer, okay, you're spending three days in a car with two kids under the age of eight and two dogs, two big dogs, like we have a Siberian Husky, as you know, that's Mr. Killian Jones, and his name actually is, yes, Killian Jones on his certificate and everything else. I know you're probably wondering, is it his real name? Yes, his real name is Killian Jones. Um, again, you can blame my husband for that one. Absolutely. But, uh... Yep. Mm. Daisy is the other dog we had brought with us, and she is a German Shepherd. A full-blood German Shepherd. And she's as big as a freaking German Shepherd. So imagine being stuck in a car with two dogs, two kids, you can't use cruise control, and you're driving for three days. Okay. Longest ride of my life, and I've already told you guys, I don't do the best in cars because I fall asleep real easily when I'm driving. Well, not while I'm driving, but while I'm in a car. Um, so I was hot, I was irritated, and I just wanted out of the car. When we got here, okay, we had, like I, I've told you in other videos, which I don't have my, where are your keys? Can I see your keys? Because I've, I've been meaning to show them this thing. In our building, we have, we don't have keys, we have a key fob. Now, our key to our building in our house looked like this. Okay, you see this? This is the key to get into our building in our house. So, obviously, you can tell it's a magnet. Coolest thing ever, right? Yeah, no, it's annoying as hell. Okay, so we don't have a key. We have to use that to get into our building, which only opens our building, and it only opens our building and our door. So, when we got here... We, I don't even know how we got through the first set of doors. Exactly. We got through the first set of doors with the key, no problem. But when it came to getting into the apartment, the key had somehow deactivated itself. And we later found out it could have been because when he went through the x-ray machine at the airport, because he flew to Pennsylvania to drive us back out to North Dakota. When he flew they think the x-ray machine might have deactivated his key, which now, thinking about it, that doesn't make sense if we were able to get into the first door. But either way, his key got deactivated. I was hot. I was tired. I was annoyed. I wanted out of that car. I didn't want to have to drive anymore. I'm not good on long road trips. I'm not. I'm not that friend that you want to take on a long road trip. I'm not. I'm, if you want to sit in the house and eat popcorn and watch weird cartoons, I'm all about that. I'm not the less going along road trip type girl. I'm not. Stay in the house in sweatpants and watch movies. That's me. Um, That's why I got a bribe or something worth a while. Yeah, if you brought me with like a craft store or something, even tacos at this point, I might leave the house. We should go to Minot one of these days soon to go get tacos because I have been really wanting some Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, to drive to Minot for us is about two hours. Each way. Each way. So when we want Taco Bell, we have to drive two hours for Taco Bell. Ridiculous, right? Yeah, I don't think we haven't made that trip before. Um, so yeah. So I was hot. I was irritated. I do have a really bad temper, and I did yell and fuss and curse at him, and I feel really bad. And I have apologized to him, so don't feel bad for him. I've apologized to him. I was not... Shush. 
I, I, I was, I was, you know, I knew I was wrong for being so angry and mad at him. So I did apologize to him for that. And after that day, I think I was fine. I, I'm, I was a little worried about moving up here as it is anyway, because I moved away from my family and I've never really been this far away from my family before. And I missed them terribly. So like, I knew there was going to come the day where I would want to go back to Pennsylvania because not because I like Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania sucks. Um, I didn't like living in Pennsylvania, at least not where I lived. Um, but I miss my parents and I miss my child. I miss my dog. And so like, that's all what rushed to my head when I was being mean to him. Did you use him three times? No. Oh, that's a round one for you. Are there round ones? She did say that there were round ones in the squares. He's doing a square drill, people. Pray for him. So yeah, so that's a whole long explanation on that one because that took forever. Okay, so my happy moment. Now I don't remember what I said before. <laughs> I win. Oh, one of my happy moments is watching when I got my license plate for my car. Okay, that might sound really dumb to you guys, but I have the coolest freaking license plate on my car. Now, when we moved to North Dakota, we obviously had to go through that whole DMV thing where you get your license changed over, which I hate my license. They had to give... If it wasn't for the fact that they kept messing up our licenses, my license number would be one number off from my husband's. But now it's like four because the guy kept messing up and he misspelled my middle name. And when I got married, I changed my middle name. Not that I'm not going to tell you my middle name. If you know it, you better not ever say it to anyone, ever. I don't, oh, you mean... I, I will I will murder you on camera. I will not murder him on camera. Um, I don't like my middle name. It's I'm, I, my dad loves it and that's great because he named me and you know I didn't. I was going to, ch to change it all together, but I didn't because I knew my parents liked it so much. Or at least my dad. I don't care what my mom thinks. Not my stepmom, but my real mom. She's yeah, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. so I didn't change it completely. I just changed a letter in it so you can pronounce it correctly when you do see it. So. They wouldn't let me keep my middle name. They said our license, our, apparently they claimed that our, our marriage license was invalid because they didn't have our full names on it or something. And I'm just like, I don't think so. Nice try. This is his way of trying to get out of our marriage. I don't think so. And he looks at me. He goes, what? No, I'm just joking. But for real though. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, so we got our license changed over and when it came to getting our license plate for our cars, he got a regular old license plate. And out here they use three letters and three numbers, which I think in Pennsylvania they use four letters and three numbers or something. I think that's why it looks so off to No, me. out here it's three numbers and three letters. In PA it's three letters and four numbers. No, it's... Yeah. Okay, either way. That's when you know, the letters are first and then it's four. Yeah. Okay. So either way, when it came to getting our license plate done, he went with a regular tag. I did not. Now I joggled around in my head for at least a month about what I wanted my tag to say. Did I want it to somehow come out and say Miss Crochet and Coffee? Did I want it to come out? And one of my big things is... Should I have one second to hop? No. Yes. No. Yes. But whatever. It's your car. You don't drive it anyways. Um, maybe when you get your truck. Yeah. Just put big old waffle on your truck. Waffle. Um, now, my husband, whenever he introduces me to people or talks about me at work, I guess, I don't know. I guess he introduces me or says my name is the missus. He never, and that's another reason why I say I don't know if he actually knows my first name half the time because he never really uses it. So when he introduces me to people, it's the missus. And so I was like, do I get something with that on it? But then the letters, there were too many letters to do it. And then I was like, you know, I really want it to say the missus. I got to figure out a way for it to do this. So my car literally says the missus one. Them RS. Yes, them RS one. And my son always says it looks like therm, what is this? Therms, therms one. But it's kind of an inside joke. And... In my head, I'm like, okay, the missus one is because before you're the miss, before you're a miss, or before you're a miss, or after you're a miss, you're a missus. 
So the Mrs. One means I won, meaning that's my husband, I won. To me, I thought that was like pretty clever. Um, Orion thinks that it's something to drink out of. So yeah, um, that was like the longest story in history, but my license plate is awesome. And I was so excited when I got it and then watching him install it on my car. One, if you know my husband, when I met him, he wasn't a fixer upper type person. Like he, I don't think he could fix a light bulb to be completely honest. I don't even know. But, um, well, there you go. Boom. Um, when I met him, he wasn't as burly as he is now. Baffner. Baffner. Um, and now he can like fix stuff and do like weird stuff, which is odd to me because like he can fix like mechanical stuff and cars and stuff. And I'm like, mm -hmm. what did you do in the four years that you lived up here? Apparently he just worked on things. I don't know. So now he can fix stuff and it's weird to me. So when I saw him installing, yes, man boot camp. So if you want your husband or spouse to become a real man, send him to North Dakota apparently because uh, they'll do it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so like now he can like fix stuff and everything. Like he wasn't that handy. Like he could do stuff obviously, but he wasn't as handy as he is now. Now I, like I get shocked when I see him actually working or fixing on stuff. And of course, like, you know, that's always a turn on for women when your husband can fix something. You're like, yeah, he's like my MacGyver. And my husband. I just get cool power tools out of it. Yeah, he gets cool power tools. Moving on to the next question. When... What gets Jordan the maddest? Oh, God. Oh. What gets Jordan the maddest? Okay. I want to say when you don't know the mechanics of something. When you pretend like you know what you're talking about and he actually knows. And you try to pretend like you know, but you do have no idea what you're doing. It gets him frustrated when you don't know what you're doing and you claim and try to say that you do know. Because whenever he's playing his game, though, his biggest complaint is a lot of the times guys don't know the mechanics of the game. And I've heard him say that word mechanics at least seven times in like one day. So I'm going to say when people don't know the mechanics of his game, that frustrates him. As for me, um, life. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I I've been working on my anger issues or at least trying to um I do have a pretty bad temper. That's one of those things I blame my dad for. Um he could have a pretty nasty not so much anymore. The man if you ever meet my dad, which you know, I don't know why you would meet my dad, but if for any reason you would meet my dad, um the man you see today is not the man that I grew up with. The man you see today is a man trying to get into heaven, people. Um, my dad is very nice and kind, and he's he's spent his life serving others. And, you know, I'm grateful to have somebody, father figure like that in my life. But that man is trying to get into heaven right now. Um, he wasn't always that nice. So whenever I, I say about him being nice, I'm like, this is a man trying to get into heaven right now. This isn't the person I grew up with. So... Um, but I don't know what makes me the maddest. What makes me the maddest? And you can't say life. He probably doesn't know either because it's just oh, about every damn thing, nothing, <laughs> air particles. Air, par air particles do make me mad because they attack our children and bite them. <laughs> okay, do you guys know that dust bunnies are real? Because my son apparently has been getting attacked by dust bunnies, so we've had to use special mm, cleaner in the house. Mites. Or dust mites. So we've had to use special cleaner in the house mm. to ensure that he doesn't get attacked by dust mites anymore. And all I can think of is Totoro and his little dust bunny friends. Whenever I think about it, I'm like, there's little Totoros on your son attacking him. Really I'm not, because you haven't showed it to me. I don't know. Either way. Forgive his potty mouth. He's potty mouth when he gets home from work. <laughs> Don't give me the death glare. All right. What? Oh, this is one I can't. I hate this question. I hate it so much already. I can tell you right now. Oh, I, oh answer the last question. This question. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I honestly don't know this because I think it changes. 
but I'm going to take a wild guess at it. So the question is, um, what is Jordan's favorite color? He, of course, knows my favorite color. What's my favorite color? Purple. Okay. It's one of the few colors with me being colorblind that I can see correctly, I think. So I like purple. But when it comes to Jordan, Jordan had, like, I have in my head the color that he should like based on his personality. But then he's like, no, I don't like that color. I'm going to say gunmetal gray. He likes gunmetal gray. I know he likes gunmetal gray, but then I know he likes green. But then I do like, I, no, he likes pink. Is it pink? It's pink. He likes pink and he likes black and like red, which red is a shade of pink, I think. So, see, he deflates. <laughs> um, I'm going to say pink. That's a safe one. Safe with gray. Oh, was I safe with gray? Yeah. We well, you have your pink stars on your arms, so like. So I kind of faded the orange now. Actually, he's kind of faded completely now. Uh, a little bit. All right, well, there am I on. H. Three, three, seven, one. She stole my socks. I did not steal his socks. Okay, look here, people. He moved me here. And I don't have winter clothes because in Pennsylvania, yeah, we have winter, but I also had like the best neighbor ever and he would come like shovel my sidewalk and everything. So I didn't have need for winter clothes because anything I needed outside of the house, Uncle Matt, the guy that lived next door would get for me. So now that we lived here and there's no Uncle Matt, like I couldn't bring him with me. That might be inappropriate. So now that we live here where I don't have to go outside too much besides like to get food or pick up my kids from school, it's still cold and I don't know how to work the thermostat in my house yet. So I took a pair of his uh, winter socks, I guess. They're like wool socks or something. They're like the most comfortable thing on the planet. And they're already worn in. So I didn't steal them. I'm borrowing them until they disintegrate. <laughs> or until they disintegrate. Either way, like, they're warm, people. Come on. Like, I'm taking, I, I don't take and just steal his stuff all the time. So, yeah. Again, another long question. This thing's going to be like an hour long. Okay, what color are Jordan's eyes? Okay, now this is my favorite question in the whole white world because I love talking about Jordan's eyes. He has the prettiest eyes on the planet. They do be. Um, Jordan has like, Jordan has hazel eyes. I think his eyes are the same color as his mom's, but I think his are lighter than hers. Hazelnut? Yes, dear, you're a hazelnut. Um, no more coffee for you. Um... But he has, like, honey brown colored eyes. And they are the prettiest thing, especially when the sun's shining. Or if he's really sad about something, they sparkle. Yeah, you heard right. They freaking sparkle. And it's the freaking cutest thing on the planet. And I love them. And they're pro of all the things about my husband I like the most is his eyes. He has, like, the kindest, sweetest little eyes. And they're not all weird and beady like I've seen some people have. Um... So, like, yeah, like, I love his eyes. They're, like, a honey color. So, his, mm -hmm. his eyes are, like, hazel. Are you all out of coffee now? Mm -hmm. Good, because it's almost time to start playing your game. 20 minutes ago. Um, <laughs> he's deflating. Um, and, of course, he knows what color my eyes are because he's Jordan. That, that was your cue for your answer, dear. Oh, did you fail? They're not doo doo brown. They're just brown. All brown, doo doo brown. You're doo doo brown. Yep. Okay. Okay, last question, folks. <laughs> last question. Whee! He's excited. I'm excited because I got other things I need to do. Like, I also put like three pounds of sugar into my coffee. That that is probably why he's so hyped up today. Whee! What? Okay. So. Let's answer this last question so that he doesn't scare the couple of viewers I do have away. Um, shush. All right. So last question. What is our happiest moment together? All these questions are like janky repeats of each other. No, because this one's of us together. Like me and Oh, you. wait. The other one didn't have to be... What? <laughs> <laughs> While we're using my answer, I'll change the other one if I do what. Yeah. Okay, well, what, was, what would be the other one? Oh, shit. Oh, no, um, stuff? Okay, I need something besides stuff. Ah, 
having this moment together. Um, that's even a hard one for me to answer. And usually I have all the answers. Like I'm that mushy person. Like I love everything about him yeah, and just uh, being with him. Mushy, squishy. Yeah. Get out of here. Um, geez, um, together? Can you? Together. Oh, I know. When we got our first apartment and we didn't have furniture. <laughs> we didn't have furniture in that apartment for like a year. And we slowly trickled in furniture. And I absolutely loved. I think my saddest moment was when I had to like blow up that couch. Yes. Our first couch. It was time for it to go. And now we have our second couch, which is our leather recliner. With the, the USB ports. The door, so I'm an idiot. Yes, he had to. It wouldn't fit in the door, or out the door to get taken out to the trash. So he had to break it, and it was pretty sad because it was our first couch. So it's nice to know that he also <laughs> sees sentimental value in like stupid little things like that, like I do, because everything, essentially, to me has sentimental value. What is you doing? I don't know. I'm hearing noises. So. I'm going to say when we moved into our first apartment together, we moved in on Valentine's Day that year. What year was that? 2010? Nine. Two, 2010. Because we got married in 2009. Mm -hmm. So, it was 2010. Yeah, because Orion was born in 2011. We had a whole year of being able to spend time together without kids. And got to essentially learn somewhat about each other. In that year's time. And then we had kids. And then we just kind of went our separate ways. <laughs> you chase that kid. I'll chase this kid. We'll meet in the middle. So yeah. And I, I just like being able to spend time with him. Like we do now during the day. When the kids are at school. Because we don't get a whole lot of time together. Alone that we're not. Like doing our own thing. So that was probably one of the happiest moments I can remember of us together. I'm pretty sure there's more. I don't think of more after this is over with, but that's the first one that popped into my head. So now Jordan has to answer. Oh, uh, what? Yep. Nope. Your turn. I was just agreeing. Mm-mm. Yep. Mm-mm. Pop out. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I don't know. Think. Um, oh, yeah, you know, we moved in that apartment together, and yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I don't know. Why is you holler when we is in the house? Stop and you know what I mean? <sighs> Welcome to Jordan, folks. While he's taking that time to think, uh, these Drill With Me videos with Jordan are brought to you by Diamond Art Club, because that's where these freaking canvases came from, and they are awesome. Well, at least mine is. His is an older canvas. Not that it's not awesome, but they're not, you know. And viewers like you. Yes, thank you to all of those who su subscribe. If I could talk. <laughs> yes, thank you to everyone who subscribes. All my new subscribers, hello, welcome. I hope you like and enjoying the videos. This is my husband. Um, this is our life. This is how he normally acts on a daily basis. Um, especially when he gets out of work. He's a little bit more vulgar, but he's trying to turn it, tone it down for you guys because he works in the oil field with a bunch of dudes. So, like, you kind of have to forgive him for that. He pee in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, he's very happy to pee in the middle of nowhere, apparently. He doesn't have happy to. We just don't have a choice. Okay. So, like, um, yeah, welcome to it. So, now that I've gone on for a good two minutes and gave him time to think, hopefully now he has an answer so we can end this video because it's an hour long. Oh, uh, what? I'm focusing on the little dots over here. Okay, well, focus on the question. I don't know. He has no answer, folks. <sighs> He's deflating. You're deflating. He's deflating, people. That was a hard question, like. You're a hard question. Huh. <sighs> deflating now. Uh, again, welcome to it, folks. Um, I can't even think of a second one. That's, yeah. Is that sad? Ha. 
Is that sad? We've been together nine years and can't think of anything. I think it's just because we got put on the spot. Mm-hmm. But, All uh, of it. There. Boom. Done. We win. Okay. <sighs> well, we're going to let him cop out of that answer. No, <laughs> I lied. We're not. I'm just going to answer it for him. <laughs> and see if he agrees. How about um, when we went to Harrisburg to get your chest piece done? My husband. I don't uh, know if that counts. Why not? Because uh, we weren't dating, and that was supposed to be your gift for like trying to leave and be like, "Here you go, friend. Have a nice life. Get out of here." What were you not happy during this time? <laughs> I don't know. I was sleeping. I was trying to give you an answer. Now you have to figure out your own. I was answer. sleeping in pain. My husband has a chest piece that says "Infamous" across his shoulders. For eight hours in one sitting. Apparently it wasn't. It didn't feel good. He asked for it, so like that's what he got. Most of my friends just wanted to go out to lunch with me. No, no, no. He wanted a tattoo. I don't think she'd actually agree. And then when I did, he didn't chicken out. So boom. Well, I mean, I don't care about the tattoo. Which is probably why he has over a hundred now. All right. So since that doesn't count. Oh, yep, yeah, that counts. Good answer. Nope. Yep. Nope. You, you the one that was fussing that that Bye. didn't count. <laughs> but yes, I am going to end the video there because it is going on about an hour long. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video and want to see more videos of my drill with me with my husband, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, place them down in the comment section below. Uh, say goodbye, Jordan. Goodbye. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.